Hello everybody. Today gonna perform the transportation analysis. Uh, we're gonna do this with the models we used in loadout analysis. You can copy these three files from the your loadout analysis folder, and this one is our model after we finished some changes we're gonna introduce these members the tie down members okay for the transportation so let's close this and get it started i'm gonna delete this and the transportation analysis is made in in, in four steps first gonna do a gap analysis only for the dead loads and the second step you're gonna perform the tow analysis where only the initial loads are generated then we're gonna combine the dead loads with the national loads due to the motions during the transportation and to finish this we're gonna post process all the results from the combined analysis okay first let's open up the model file and proceed gonna create the first step is to, to create the tie down members to create them gonna use a plane the elevation x y plane and elevation zero okay i'm gonna label the joints and all the new joints are 2.5 meters away from the existing joints and I'm gonna create them now so go to joint relative the first one is T111 it's relative to D101 the fixity is pinned and it is minus 2.5 in X and 2.5 in Y and the next one is T112 it's 2.5 in X and 2.5 in Y and the reference joint is the same all right it's done so you have to to see your model like this okay please check if it's correct and so we can go ahead go to display active isometric and then apply so here is our jacket uh, I'm gonna display the volumes okay so I'm gonna get less information here so I can keep focus on the joints that I'm interested in so let's go to display volumes and maximum Z 3.5 then apply and let's create the time dial members let's start from here uh, go to member add group label C I'm gonna check this box so it's gonna be added immediately joint A 
and joint B Okay, do that for all of them. Okay. But if you if you want, you can change the orientation. Here they are. Our jacket so it can go again to display. Okay, and active isometric reset volume and then apply. Let's see it's solid. So the properties are still missing. So let's define the properties. Go to property and member group. Let's add this group C. Go to group type and change it to tubular. Change it to centimeters. Gonna use 32.385 and 1.27 but then apply okay this is in general tab so let's go now to the miscellaneous tab go to gap element and choose no load then apply can close now. Here are the properties, and now we have to create the offsets. So let's go back again to our view volumes Z maximum 3.5. Here's our jacket. We're gonna choose the joints, okay. So, go to Joint, Manual Design, let's start from here, Joint Name, okay, uh, so, let's go to Modify Offsets, Offsets Outside of Court, and then save it. John. So let's see our jacket now. Go to display, active isometric, reset volume, apply. Let's draw it solid. Zoom in one of the joints. Here are our offsets. Okay. We need to do one more thing. Let's create another weight combination. Go to weight, weight combination. The name is mass. And you're gonna add all of these weights. It's anodes, uh, pedais, and walkways. Use the factor 1 and then apply. Here it is, it's created so we can close now and we can save our model. You can close this window. Let's open up the scene.loadout file using DataGen. Now, gonna delete the load case selection, the center, and the included weight. Gonna use only the mass. And the load combinations, we can delete them. That's it. You're gonna save this file as cimp dot dat. Okay. Now I'm gonna create the the room file. 
go to If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.